No, GTA 6 has not been cancelled. Also, no, GTA 6 is not coming out on May 16, 2024. And believe it or not, no, Rockstar has actually not said anything about pre-orders. Welcome back to our GTA 6 monthly-ish news recap, where we cut all the BS and figure out what has happened in the world of GTA 6 this past month. I'm not here to waste your time. If you only want to look at a specific topic, the timestamps are on your screen now. So go ahead, watch what you want. I'm not here to uh, talk really slowly and stretch the video out. Are we at eight minutes yet? All right, I'm done. I'm done. We actually have a lot of important news. So this has been like a really packed couple of weeks. So let's get into it. And first, let's get into the news that dropped today. You might have already seen the date, May 16, rolling around on the internet. And yes, this is the next day that we have to look forward to. So what's actually going on? Well, let's have a look here at the Take-Two Interactive website. Of course, Take-Two is the publisher of GTA and Rockstar Games. Now, the big deal is they announced their next earnings call to be on May 17th, or it's May 16th everywhere in the world. I live in Australia. So we're like a day ahead. But unless you live in Australia or New Zealand, it'll be on May 16th for you. And this is a really big deal because now we know we're going to get official GTA 6 info on this date or before it. So worst case scenario is we get an update on this day. Now they won't do that directly. What they'll actually do is tell us how much money they're predicting to make this financial year. But that's a really big deal. If you've been keeping up with the channel, you know what I'm talking about. I'll give you a quick recap if you don't. So last fiscal year, year, which for Take-Two Interactive is from April to March, Take-Two Interactive earned about $5.5 billion in net bookings. But this fiscal year, which started here in April and will end in March 2025, they expect to make over $7 billion, which is a $1.5 billion increase. No game or franchise can come close to earning that much money unless it's Grand Theft Auto. That's just facts. I'm not going to put the facts up here. I've done that several times in previous videos. I'll link the previous one below, but you're going to have to trust me. No other franchise can make this much money except GTA. So what that has meant is that it looks like Rockstar is planning to release GTA 6 in March or before March 2025. Now on May 16th, we're going to get an update on that and see if they're still expecting to make that much money this fiscal year. If they are, then that means GTA 6 is still on track to hopefully be released at the start of the year. If not, then it means it's been internally delayed. But there's also a chance that we get info before this, because if we look down at this earnings score here in November 2023, on that day, Rockstar announced the GTA 6 trailer. And that's what companies do. They build up hype, make the shareholders happy so that the stock price goes up and it's a lot easier for everyone on these investor calls. Now Rockstar didn't do anything before the February one and they might not do anything before the May one, but a lot of people think they will purely because this one at the end of 2023 happened one month before a GTA Online update in December. And Rockstar, being as smart as they are, released the GTA 6 trailer a week before a GTA Online DLC. Players get hyped by GTA 6, go back to GTA Online, they make more money. So there is a chance, there's a chance that they do that again. I'm going to say probably not. If they do release info, what could it be? I mean, it could be screenshots. It could be a pre-order. I doubt it, but it could be. And maybe we can hope and dream that it will be trailer two. I, I really don't think so though. But at the very least, we will get info in this earnings call itself. So keep an eye on this day. Next, we have to talk about Take-Two Interactive laying off 5% of their staff, which is, as you can see here, about 580 jobs cut. Now, this is obviously horrible news, but a lot of people have been rushing to the conclusion that this is Rockstar developers and that this is going to affect GTA 6. Highly unlikely. If anything, Rockstar is actually ramping up hiring and development in the final stretch towards GTA 6's release. So as much as this does suck for those game developers, like seriously, that's incredibly unfortunate. Wishing you guys the best. Take-Two Interactive does sort of own a lot of other publishers, not just Rockstar Games. A lot of smaller publishers, some bigger ones. But I would say it's pretty likely that almost none, if not no, Rockstar developers have been cut during this layoff. Regardless though, it is a bit of a sour subject considering the Take-Two Interactive executive's pay was doubled this past year and that he also came out and said these headlines over the past year and months that they have no current plans for layoffs and that the hardest thing to do is lay off colleagues. That was only in February. So uh, two months later, they're laying off almost 600 people. That's uh, yeah. 
Welcome to the games industry. Let's talk about voice actors for Jason and Lucia. Now, at the end of 2023, we sort of became aware of who Lucia's voice actor was. I did make a video on that, but I published it and deleted it like straight away because we weren't really sure about the info. I just didn't feel good about that video. But now we can be pretty much 99% sure that this is actually the voice actor for Lucia, mainly because she's purged all of her social medias following this announcement and this finding by the community. So I'll play a clip of that video that I actually deleted showing you who the voice actor for Lucia is, or 99% will be. And then we'll come back and talk about Jason because we also have some big news about Jason's voice actor. First of all, who is it? Well, a lot of people believe it's Manny L. Perez because as you'll see shortly, she does sound exactly like Lucia. And she has also mentioned that she is under very strict NDAs, which again, we'll show shortly. But one of the main reasons first is she does look somewhat similar to Lucia. You can see it in this image here. Now we know most actors when it comes to GTA are somewhat similar looking to the characters that they play. Like here you can see Ned Luke, who is Michael. You can see Stephen Ogg, who is Trevor and Sean Fontino, who is Franklin. Of course, they don't look perfectly similar, but they do look somewhat similar, right? So this was the first reason. Now let's talk about the voice similarities. So we'll play the clip from Lucia in the trailer where she's talking. The only way we're gonna get through this is by sticking together, being a team. Trust? Now here's a clip from Manny in Law and Order. Set up in dumpsters. The others just, they just never came home. Still missing today. Poor strippers in the south side go missing, cops don't do nothing. As you can tell, very, very similar. But not only that, also in an interview, now I'm not too sure when this is from, it's definitely within the past couple of years. Manny states that she is currently working on something big, but she is under an NDA. Here's the clip. There's no video for this one, so I'm just gonna play it while you watch some GTA gameplay. Is there anything, just just a smidge, that you could give us on, on what you're doing right now, that you're on the set of? Um, what I'm doing right now, it's, is big, but NDAs, that's all I can say. I got you, I got you, I understand. Okay, is it a TV show <laughs> or a movie? I can't even get into that. Oh, yeah. Action, <laughs> action comedy? Man, I wish I, if, uh, I, could, right. if I could, right, I, I would, you. but right. you right. know, I like making my monies and I, <laughs> right, and you know, they love NDAs, so. I, I totally understand, I totally understand. All right, so. <laughs> right now, I've been transitioning my career into voiceover and motion capture. Okay. So now it's also kind of funny. There's also this clip going around from a podcast where these guys asked her directly if she's working on Grand Theft Auto, which of course she is not legally allowed to answer, even if she is. This clip's kind of awkward, but anyway, take a look. You did a voiceover on Grand Theft Auto. Like I'm currently replaying Grand Theft Auto because I have nothing else better to do in oh. spare time. No, so, I haven't. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> you didn't do, you know? No, I haven't, no. Well, who messed up on these questions, James? Moving on to Jason. A lot of people speculated that it was going to be Troy Baker. He publicly came out and said that it's not him. But now everyone has moved on to Gregory Connors. But why? Well, he sounds exactly like Jason from the leaks that we saw. Of course, he only said one word in the trailer, but from the September 2022 leaks, we had a lot more Jason. He does sound very similar. But... Here's the most interesting part. On his resume here, he had that he was a lead voiceover actor in a Rockstar Games title coming out in 2025. Now there's only one game that that could be, and it seems like there's only gonna be two lead roles. I'm gonna assume he's not playing Lucia, so that would imply that he's gonna be Jason. If you wanna hear what he sounds like, we can have a listen here. What? You tried to launch the ship without us. You tried to kill us. What? Oh, you'll be dead before you know it. Hello there. No oh, that was from the leaks. Whoops. But yeah, obviously very similar. Now, there's a few things that could take away from him being Jason. The first being, it's just a resume. People can fake resumes. Maybe it wasn't even him that wrote the resume. Could have been like his management or something. We don't know. Maybe he's even exaggerating the lead role. Maybe he's a supporting character. We don't know. People have also said he doesn't really look like Jason. I mean, I don't know. Ned Luke doesn't look that much like Michael. Like they have similarities. This is also just not a great photo. Like he's got a beard here. Jason, we haven't really seen him with a beard. 
weird. So I don't know about the whole looks thing. I would say there's a good chance he's Jason, but yeah, this one, I I'm not so sure. And we can't be certain with this one. And finally, we have to talk about this crazy Reddit thread. I never really saw this. Now, this is actually from three months ago. And I want to give a huge shout out to Badger Guja for making a video on this the other day. I didn't know about this prior to that. So definitely go check his video first. Honestly, if you're up to here, just log off and go watch his video. Link will be below. But I'm going to give my thoughts on it now because this is absolutely crazy. So what's this about? Well, there's a Reddit user named user, well, look who's back. Now, obviously, this is a line from the GTA 6 trailer with the Hammer Lady, right? Yeah, but you can't change your Reddit username. And this account was made on the 19th of November, which was just over two weeks before the GTA 6 trailer came out. So that right there is enough to say that this person knew something. They either saw the trailer or they know someone at Rockstar Games. Or maybe they even work at Rockstar. I doubt that though, because I, I wouldn't risk my job to get this stuff out here. I don't know about you. And they were yapping in the GTA 6 subreddit. Okay, they were saying a lot of stuff. But once the trailer released and people caught on to them, they actually deleted their account. But thankfully, some people saved their entire comment history before they did that. Let's click on this. This is going to be... Yeah, okay. Let's reformat this. Now, he said some crazy stuff. Some of it was slightly wrong, but like not very wrong. One of those was the release date. He said December 6th, which was only one day off. And some of the stuff he said is just factually right. Like here what he says, the majority of Rockstar employees haven't seen the trailer for the fear of the song being leaked. And this was true. We found out once the trailer actually did leak that a lot of Rockstar employees were upset because they wanted to watch it together with their friends and employees in the Rockstar Studios. He responded to someone talking about dual wield weapons, saying you'll be able to dual wield weapons. That the trailer is incredible, everyone will go crazy. I, I mean, that's kind of obvious. And he kept saying December 6th. You can see it like three times just here. He was close. He was only one day off. He said there will be a trailer countdown, correct? Here you can see predictions on the first line of the trailer. He said, read my name. So it looks like he thought that the first line of the trailer was going to be look who's back. So he clearly doesn't know everything, but he does know something. Here you can see he said, bro, take this down. Aaron doesn't need his pickup with this scumbag. So he's defending Aaron Garbutt, a Rockstar employee who was in a bit of drama around December 2nd. I'm not going to go into that here to respect his privacy. He predicted the trailer song saying love is a long road by Tom Petty. He said here that there will be gore and dismemberment closer to what it was in Red Dead Redemption 2. Responded to a lot of speculation saying all of this is BS. If you want to know the song, just ask me. This guy said he wanted to see 3v3 basketball. He replied, you are in luck. But really, all the main points are here. He said, dual wording is going to be in the game. Gore and dismemberment. Different color sunsets. 3v3 basketball. It's going to be harder to jack cars. The gameplay leak is way outdated. It's going to look way better. Debunked some map leaks. And then said, Jamie King's opinion is no longer relevant. There was a big interview with him late last year. He also said some kind of crazy stuff that kind of implied he's the son of a Rockstar developer, kind of. I'm not going to dive into that. I'll link Badger's video below again. He covered that way better than I will here. I'll also link this Reddit post below as well if you want to have a look at it, because this is very, very interesting stuff. Let's talk about the mapping project. As you can see, it has been updated and it now has a panhandle on it right up here. Now, we spoke about this in the last GTA 6 video I did on the channel. You may have seen this map floating around, but there is a big disclaimer with it. Now, this map is from Dupsaw up here, as well as a lot of other GTA mapping project members. But I don't want misinformation getting out here. They did say that this isn't completely confirmed. This is more speculation. And as we covered in last video, it is speculation. It's looking like there probably will be a panhandle, right? Like. It's probably going to come out something like this and the map is going to be bigger than we initially thought, but we just don't know for sure. And that's what they wanted this map to represent. As you can see, there's no like coordinates over here. Nothing like we have in Port Gelhorn, right? Where we already know lots of the roads. So this bit is speculation based off a couple of road signs that we saw in the leaks, but not confirmed. Anyway, just wanted to throw that bit in there to clear up any misinformation. So we'll wrap the video up there. If you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more stuff like this probably the last GTA 6 video I'll make until that earnings call, unless Rockstar announces something, which, hey, let's hope they do. That'd be awesome. If you missed the news roundup we did a few weeks ago, I'll link that below as well. Lots of stuff to check out with this topic. I know I keep saying, check this out in the description. There's a lot to cover. It's an exciting time. I'm enjoying the pre-hype buildup. You only get this once a decade for GTA, so enjoy the pre-release buildup while we can. And I'll see you in the next video. Boys! But you won't
find me on the mountaintop. Need no calculator. I 